Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Unity game development video series. Okay, this one is going to be a new series, and I know that I'm jumping around a little bit here. I'm going from coding to the basics of Unity to now what we're calling Rollaball, okay, which is a game from Unity Learn. Um, and I, I think what's going to happen here is that we're just going to keep jumping back and forth as I need these videos because these are priority for my students, okay? And this is what they need at the time. So, you know, I, I apologize for jumping around, but I'm going to, you know, do them in the order that is best for us. And then hopefully these playlists will get full by the time, um, you know, we're, we're done shooting videos, all right? Um, so here we go. We are creating Rollaball, which is a Unity Learn tutorial. Uh, in Rollaball, again, I like to say this, that in the Unity Hub, you could just go to learn and you could follow the Rollaball uh, tutorial from, here it is right there, uh, from Unity if you would like. It'll bring you to their website. It'll bring you through a bunch of videos. But of course, I think that I can do this better, okay? And I can teach it better, uh, especially the coding aspect. They don't do a great, you know, great job of explaining the coding. And I also think the order that you do things in their videos just doesn't really make any sense, okay? So anyways, here is the Rollaball game. If I were to hit play here in Unity, you'll see a couple different things. Number one, you see rotating collectibles. These are little collectibles that you're gonna go around and collect. By the way, this doesn't have to be set on a square playing field here. You could create any shape you'd want. Uh, it could be a maze with different walls. It could be areas that have incline you know, up, incline down, or decline down. Um, it could be anything you want, but you'll see the collectibles are rotating. Okay, that's something that we're going to have to script later on. Uh, the ball, as I move the ball, the camera follows the ball. Okay, and I'm using the WASD keys on the keyboard. Um, the ball itself has physics on it. Uh, the collectibles are is kinematic, which means that, you know, they're just triggers and you're just, as you click on the, uh, or as you pass them, they just add to your total score, which is in the top left. Uh, which is in this game count eight now you can put as many as you'd like But then you get a you win screen at the end and the game is over. Okay, so it's pretty simple This is a simple game um, and in this first video We're gonna walk you through how to set up the entire game by creating everything first then we'll go into the uh, actual coding Okay, all right, so here we go. So I'm gonna close this one out and we're going to go to the Unity Hub, and we're going to start a brand new drawing. Again, I am using the 2019 4-13 F1, which is the most recent long-term support um, uh, version of Unity, which is you know always good to stick with because there's less bugs and there's support for a longer amount of time. So I'm going to call this Rollball 2. Now, if you're one of my students, right now we're having an issue with saving. Um, you know, we're using a remote desktop system since they're all virtual, and they're remote desktoping into our school computers, but they're having an issue with where to save it. So this is one of those games where this is going to take us a, a couple different uh, sit-downs in order to create this game. It's going to take some time, okay? Um, now, with that time, if we're having issues with saving stuff, what I would like you to do, if you're having an error, is just let me know, and I will give you a flash drive. That way we can save your work on a flash drive and bring it from computer to computer, depending on which one the remote desktop system logs you into next, okay? So, outside of that, here we go. Roll a ball two for me. 3D drawing. Hit create. We'll let this load for a second. And we're just going to create the pieces. We've got the, the ball, which is the player. Uh, it's a sphere. We've got the ground. That's going to be a plane. Uh, we've got four walls. Those are going to be made out of cubes. And we've got pickups. There's eight of those, and they're going to be cubes as well. Okay. So in the hierarchy, uh, actually, before we even get to that, I like to go to the assets folder here, and I like to just set up my drawing. I like to right click, uh, and I say drawing because I come from an AutoCAD architecture background, um, but really I'm talking about game. Okay. Every time I say drawing, um, it's just like a thing that's stuck in my head. All right. So anyways, create, and you're going to create a folder and we're going to do a couple of these. One is going to be materials, right click again, create. Uh, folder this one is going to be prefabs because we're going to make a prefab of the actual pickup pieces and then you're going to do another right click create folder and we're going to do scripts now within scripts you can right click and create C sharp script that one is going to be called rotator one of them is going to be and we're not going to do any coding in this first video but the first one is going to be what's going to make your pieces spin around okay uh, the second one is going to be your player controller no spaces okay try to keep it pretty simple here 
and then right click create C sharp script and we need one that is going to be the uh, camera so we can just type camera here okay it's gonna be the code that actually um, oh we shouldn't name that camera sorry let's name that camera camera controller okay so now we shouldn't get script camera has the same name as built-in unity but we just changed that so let's go into uh let's go into this camera controller real quick in case you made the same mistake i did um it's probably going to have its name changed uh or need to have its name changed in the top now see it's got camera camera controller okay and then we'll do a control shift s which is a save all we can close the script and now that should go away hopefully there we go. Um, all right, so we got that stuff. Now, right click, you're gonna do a create 3D object of a plane, and that plane, we're gonna single click on that name there, and we're gonna call that ground. Now, there is another way to do the name change if you just click on it, and then you can go up here and type in ground, um, but, you know, whichever one works for you, okay? So this one, this uh, ground here is actually gonna be two in the X, one in the Y, and two in the Z. So that's about gonna be the size that we're gonna use here. Um, under let's see let's go to materials let's right click and go to create material and we're gonna call this ground double click on ground uh, you'll see that here you have a color that you can select and we'll make that like green or something you can make it whatever colors you'd like but then you just drag it onto here or you drag it onto there it's up to you so that's one uh, next one right click create we're gonna do another material and this one is going to be walls uh, you don't even have to double click on this I don't know why I said that before but a single click brings you here where you can change the color and we're gonna get into more advanced videos as this goes along where not every material is just gonna be a blank um, solid color okay we're gonna start getting into actual materials um, but not not quite yet we're gonna we're gonna take this slow okay so the walls let's just make them like a blue or something and then uh, let's see, let's do a right click over here in the hierarchy. Let's go 3D object cube. And I'm just gonna bring this cube up. Don't worry about the position of it, but, uh, and, and the rotation is not gonna be anything, but the scale of it is going to be for the walls. It's gonna be 20 by one by one. So 20 in the X, one by one, okay? Now we are gonna have to bring this above the plane. So right now you'll see that in the Z, if that was zero, by the way, I never got to this in my beginning videos. If you uh, right click and hold on the mouse, you've get, you got like this orbit uh, panning type tool here, which will let you see up and down and around in your work. Uh, if you click down on the scroller on your mouse, you can kind of pan around a little bit better too to see all the different angles of everything, okay? Um, let's see what the position of, yeah, this is zero, zero, zero. So let's put this back to zero, zero, zero. And then you'll see that it actually has to go um, probably a half unit up. So we're gonna go to the Y and we're gonna do 0.5, okay? So that's that's gonna be our first wall there. Um, let's go ahead and drag wall material on there. And then let's move this. I'm gonna pan around a little bit here. And obviously uh, scrolling up and down on your mouse is your zoom in and out as well, okay? So what I can do, let's, let's hope that this works. Yes, it does. Uh, when, you hold, when you have this selected and you hold V, it's gonna give you your different vertexes on this object. I'm, I'm gonna do the bottom left corner here and I'm gonna click and hold it and then I'm gonna let go when it gets to the edge of the plane, okay? Then I'm gonna take this one, um, let's call this wall one. And I'm gonna create another one here, but you know what? Let's just make a copy. Let's do, let's select it, control C, control V. That's gonna give you another one, which I'm gonna name wall two. And then we'll create another copy, control C, control V. They're just behind each other right now. That's why you can't see them, but I'll move them in a second. Control C, control V gets me wall four. Okay, so this one vertex v for vertex click and hold and if you need to you can drop it down because i didn't have my corner visible v click and hold let go okay so we got those two now these two which you can just move like this for now are going to need to be the other way around so instead of having 20 in the x you're going to have one in the x but you're going to have 20 in the z and then we'll do the same thing v for vertex um, we might have to click off, click back on first, V for vertex, and then just drop that right on there. This one is going to be the same thing. It's going to be a 1 by 1 by 20. And then if you need to, you can just kind of pan around here 
and then we'll click off click back on we'll do a V again and we'll go with the outside corner and we'll put that one on the outside corner okay so we've got these all situated all right uh, now let's go and do a right click uh, in order to keep this tidy we're gonna do a create empty which is just an empty folder game object type deal um, and we're gonna call that walls now we can take these four walls by the way I just clicked on one I hold shift and then I do up on the arrow um, and then I let go of shift and I just click and drag and drop that into walls so now we've got those as a parent child situation where I could close that if I wanted to but I've got all my four walls there okay uh, right click we're gonna do 3d object we're gonna do sphere okay that sphere is gonna be named player and with the player it's gonna be uh, 0.5 in the Y because you can see that now why is that sphere way down? That's so strange. Sometimes you create a new object and it goes right to zero zero zero, which is where it should go. But sometimes it doesn't. It's really strange. So anyways, we've got the sphere. It's uh, it's half in the object right now, which means that in the Y, we're going to want to do a position of 0.5. Uh, you can leave the scale one by one by one. And we'll leave that right in the center. Okay, so that one's fine. We're going to create another material here. Right click, create material. Uh, we will name that one player and clicking on that we can change that to a different color I just like to go drastically different color so the game doesn't look confusing uh, we can go red or whatever color you want drag that on the ball and then we've just got to make the collectibles okay and then we'll be done for this video so close that right click uh, 3d object cube now these again going to random positions zero 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 for now uh, but the pickups, there's going to be eight of them total, and they're going to actually be um, scale 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And again, if I move this, you're going to see that half of that is in the plane. So I'm going to go in the Y direction, 0 0.5, and then I'm actually going to rotate this. I'm going to go 45, 45, 45, and that's what's going to give us our... Uh, nice uh, position which is going to be a rotator at some point when we get to that part of the coating so it floats a little bit above the object um, pretty pretty good okay all right so let's get to this position here we need one more material we're gonna do create material and we're gonna call this pickup and then that is going to have a color of let's just say like yellow or something and we'll drag that onto the pickup okay that's kind of an ugly yellow so I'm gonna change that or it could be the lighting in here as well. Let's go with a little brighter of a yellow. Should have already updated, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take my right click on the mouse and I'm just gonna try to pull this down a little bit because I wanna look straight down at the object here in order to get the position of these pickups correct. Um, now, another thing that we wanna do is we wanna go back to assets and we wanna go into prefabs. If I, let's change the name of this too. Let's call this pickup. Actually, let's call it, oops let's call it pickup one and then we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do a right click create uh, game object and we're gonna call that pickups that way we can keep that nice and tidy this one's gonna go in there and it should be in the prefabs folder where if I just click and hold this in it creates a prefab of a pickup uh, with this pickup now anything when I go to this prefab and I click on my pickup anything that I change here is going to actually auto update to the other pickups as long as I drag these in like this and put them wherever I want okay so now I don't believe that you can take one control C control V because what that's going to do is Oh no, it actually does. Yeah, see how it's blue? That means that it is a prefab. So it actually is copying it from that prefab. So that's actually probably easier because you don't have to mess with the position. You don't have to mess with the rotation or anything like that. So we'll call that pickup two. And then uh, we'll do another control C, control V. I'm just gonna do this until there's eight of them, a bunch of control Vs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, let's name them three, or now obviously you guys can move along here and just do this yourselves probably don't have to watch me doing this part seven and then eight eight okay so we've got prefabs or pickups uh, they're all in this location right here so let's just go ahead and kind of change our view for a second actually Let's go, let's get that position back. We should be able to do this from the top. 
I just didn't see the third arrow, but we don't need to go up, so we don't need to see that anyway. So we're going to just go like this. Now, you can count the boxes on the plane if you'd like to get these perfect, but I'm just going to kind of slap them anywhere. Let's go out here a little further. All right, you get something like that. Now, when I hit play, you're going to see this crazy camera view, which is not going to work for us. But in the next video, we are going to change that. And we're going to start adding some coding to our player in order to get the ball actually rolling. Pun intended. Okay. So listen, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, this was a quick one, just how to set up for the roll -a ball game. And then we're going to dive into the deep stuff. All right. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.